there, so today I'm going to talk to you about my spring shirts. If I don't talk to you about them today, next week it's going to be summer, and let's just be honest, it's already pretty much summer here in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Like, it's almost 30 degrees today, and I am sweating, so I figure let's get this done so we can say we did it, and then we'll move on to summer. First up, I have this shirt that I've been wearing on and off this spring that you gave me, Monologue, uh, made in Korea, and it is nice and white and airy, and it works for spring, it works for winter, um, with something underneath. Really, it works for every season in Halifax, except for summer, so this is definitely not going to be worn this summer because it's too sticky. Next up, I have this. You found this for me. I'm pretty sure this is secondhand. Um, cool wear. It is a large, so it, you know, it's pretty big but that's not a bother because I usually wear it tucked into things and then it kind of billows out so it's good also do you notice the trend there's a trend happening here I think some sort of coral or some sort of pinky coral color is coming into my wardrobe and I like it I'm looking for some coral flats keep that in mind when you're looking around this I mistakenly ordered for myself uh, from Amazon last year and then forgot about it. So this is a small and I'm pretty sure I've talked about this before. I've had this um, for about over a year now. I like it. Uh, I don't wear it too often, but I like wearing it on the weekends when it's like still pretty chilly outside. I bought this one recently. This is from um, Studio. Uh, this is a small by the brand only and I liked it because stripes and buttons and long and it's a good weekend shirt. Yeah, it's got cat hair on it. Oof. I haven't worn this very often. This is from H&M. It is a Canadian size 8, European size 38 and um, I wish I think I'm just going to wear it more this fall. Um, obviously it's getting too hot to wear it, um, but I bought it because I wanted this shirt and I haven't worn it, so I'm going to wear the heck out of it this come autumn and winter, especially winter. It makes me feel professional. This is why I bought it. Lastly, hanging up in my closet for my spring shirts, I have this secondhand shirt with a bunch of bunny rabbits on it by Pimpkey. I don't know what size it is. And our good friend, as we always call, um, and our friend Nicole lent this, gave this to me. Uh, she was done with it, and I'm wearing it now. I still like it, so it's funny because I wasn't sure how long I'd really want to wear it, but maybe having a toddler it makes me kind of happy to wear a shirt with bunnies on it, and she's like, oh, what are those? Moving on to a few of the shirts that I have in a drawer. They're just shirts that are better folded. This shirt is black. It's pretty worn out. I regret this purchase. Mostly regret this purchase. It's Dante Milan Small. It's from Winners and I find anything that I get from Winners gets buzzy really fast. So this is just getting quite worn out. So I'm rethinking my purchases at Winners. I feel like Winners is really good for some things but truthfully when it comes to shirts, most of the shirts I tend to go for at Winners, the material just wears out really fast. So keep that in mind. This is a H&M small shirt. Don't know where this came from. It ended up in my wardrobe and I wear this when I work out, if it's a weekend. Basically it's one of those like old shirts that you just keep re-wearing and it's perfect for spring because it's white. This shirt I was given? Yeah, donated by the, um, oh my goodness. Bavana Yoga Boutique in Halifax when I was doing the mom show, yoga show for, uh, or the mom show, the most boring show ever, first installment for the Fringe Festival, they donated this shirt for me to wear in the show, and now I wear it doing yoga. And it's spring, and white. You wear white in spring, at least I do. Next we have a threadless small girly uh, t-shirt. I really like threadless. I never, I rarely buy from them, but I like the fact that they're all into like supporting artists designs and this fit me to a T get it oh I kill myself so I bought this years and years ago kind of as a proclamation over my life that I'm a writer and I write life and there we go this is really good for just kicking around the house 
Next we have up, this is from H&M, it is a striped boat neck, I've probably talked about it before. This is still in my wardrobe, it's perfect for spring, I am definitely not going to be wearing it in the summer, too hot. Last but not least, I brought this baby out for the spring, I bought this from Mod Cloth. it is a mezzanine, it's probably small, um, it's runs really big, it's supposed to be an oversized shirt, and I fell in love with this. I love music, I love singing, I love playing the piano, I just love music in general, so this kind of sums up my life. There. So that's it. We've talked about spring shirts, and I'm pretty sure that I haven't missed anything. Put your seatbelt on, because next week it's going to be summer, and there's going to be a lot to talk about. <laughs> like, a lot, because... I feel like my summer wardrobe is mostly the basics are all complete, so now it's just about adding on just a few specifics, which I'll want to talk to you about. Anyways, I'll see you next time on The Amy Show. Do you want to know The Amy Show? No! Uh, get out. Oh, did you see? It's got hair! Hi! So you thought I didn't like this gift, but I loved it. Maybe I was just, I don't know, when I received it, probably wasn't thinking about thanking you. I'm so sorry, but I love this cat planter and Zoe loves it too. She gives it kisses. No, I'm not gonna give it a kiss for Zoe. Things parents think about.